Hi, I'm Eduardo Angel. Today we're gonna see how to properly frame and expose the color checker passport to create great profiles. I very often use the color checker passport on location. Why? Because without the visual reference it can be a challenge to judge, control and edit images for the best highlight and shadow detail. It's also hard to tell what your selective edits will do globally in other color regions. How to properly photograph the color checker passport to create a good profile? There are two things to consider, framing and exposure. Framing. Make sure you're not too far from the physical reference, like the color checker classic target. I said not too far, a little bit closer, not so close. We need to see the entire target. Perfect. Okay, now we have the framing covered. What about exposure? Make sure the image is not underexposed. Make sure the image is not overexposed. Look at this histogram. This is a properly exposed image for this subject matter under this lighting situation. Now we have a properly framed and exposed image that we will convert to DNG to create a custom camera profile using either the color checker passport application or the plugin for Adobe Lightroom. We will cover these steps on another color short. This is the picture I took after applying my custom camera profile. And that's it, that easy. This is how you properly frame and expose the color checker passport to create great profiles. Thank you. Visit my website, eduardoangel.com. Visit xrightphoto.com, where you will find links to Facebook, Twitter, the XRite Photo Blog, and more information on XRite color management solutions for photographers.